guys, Ivan here. Today I want to review uh, this lovely machine. This is the Lavazza Amoda Mio Desea Automatic Coffee Machine. It has been provided courtesy of the good guys. Uh, so quickly just uh, getting the basics out of the way. In the package you of course get this entire coffee machine with the mug here. So this is the milk frothing jar which is in glass and it doubles as a mug and this is the milk frothing apparatus um, over here is the water reservoir which holds just over a litre and uh, apart from that of course you're going to get a full instruction manual but more useful than that is a very handy kick quick start guide which is really all I needed to look at to get this up to speed a bit of warranty and technical uh, support information which you would expect uh, and then you also get nine uh, capsules to start you off with, nine different flavors uh, for you to try the different Amoda Mio capsules available on the market. Uh, that's not all the capsules available, but they give you a sample and then they give you a catalog of the different flavors and what the whole concept is about. Okay, physical dimensions of this particular machine. So it's about 39 centimeters long. Uh, the width is 14 centimeters and the height is 28. So it fits in very easily, I think, into a, a bit of a nook in your kitchen. It doesn't take up a huge amount of space. Overall weight is about four and a half kilograms without any water in the reservoir. All right, so that's really the physical dimensions here. So talking a little bit about the exterior of this machine, it does have gloss plastic for most of the exterior, stainless steel uh, for the capsule lever at the top of the machine uh, and the drip tray surface, uh, but otherwise it is plastic, including transparent plastic, of course, for the water reservoir at the back. Uh, of the machine. Uh, just to explain a little bit more about this jar, uh, it does have some markings uh, that shows you the levels of the milk uh, that you need to prep in order to get the different recipes and we'll go into that a little bit later as we uh, zoom in. So let's just turn the camera around and just zoom in and let you see this machine in greater detail. Okay guys, so here we go with the camera uh, turned around and the machine uh, right in front of me. Uh, so what I was mentioning about the frothing jar here is that it does have these markings here. So I filled it to the appropriate marking for a, a large cappuccino. That's what that second mark is. Okay, so let's just put it aside here. The machine itself, uh, I'll show you this uh, operating of the capsule lever, very easy. You just lift it up and there's a slot here to insert the capsule. After you use it, it drops into the waste tray here and you just close it back and there we have it. Uh, the reservoir, very easy to fill. You just remove the cover at the top of the machine and you can fill it in with a bottle. You can actually remove the entire reservoir and fill it under a tap if you wish to do that. A drip tray, I'll just point out. Right, that's the uh, you know, position for the milk frothing jar. But if you're using a smaller cup, you can actually position it higher to get that you know, more controlled drip there. Right, and then the waste bin, you just kind of pull it out here and then you can dispose of any waste capsules which collect in the tray here. So very simple and that's really all there is to do in terms of maintenance apart from periodic descaling. Okay, let's just put it back and uh, just show you how this operates. I'm going to press this now and as I talk, you will see this machine warms up incredibly fast from standby. It takes about 15 seconds or something, but you know, it's going to finish by the time I get ready. So, you know, I've got a Passionale flavor. There's lots of flavors, but this is what I'm going to use today. Put it in the slot there and close it. Okay, uh, I, I did that slowly to let you hear the sounds. You can hear and feel it puncturing the capsule as we go. And then here we go, and, and you can see it's already ready, right? It's already gone from standby to the ready position. Uh, just to show you this uh, milk frothing apparatus, uh, that's a magnetic connection to the machine. If I put it in, um, in the right position, it actually automatically sends it and change it to the milk uh, options there as opposed to just the coffee options on the left of the touch screen. Okay, and I'm just going to get this ready and just kind of put it on the jar and that's ready to go. Just to talk about the options here. Uh, so there are four kind of coffee options uh, on the, the left side of the display. This is all touch uh, function, right? You're getting uh, just an espresso. Uh, that's a longer espresso. And then they call that the Cafe Lungo, which is really a long black, uh, a long coffee. And then this is free dosing, meaning that manual uh, dosing of the amount that you want. 
uh, if you uh, you know go for the milk coffees I'm gonna put that in now and it's gonna swap over you got cappuccino kind of standard cappuccino uh, large cappuccino which is what I've gone for with that milk amount and then it's got uh, what they call a latte macchiato which I think is just a, a more milky drink because you got to put it at the top level for that and then there's an option if you just want to froth milk these two buttons give you temperature boost if you want a warmer finish or hotter finish and then a froth boost if you want more froth in your milk the warning buttons very simple again all it says is that you need the scaling you need water or you need to clean the drip tray very straightforward which is part of what i love this machine um, okay so i'm just going to operate this and let you see how it does it right that's the large cappuccino right it starts frothing the milk now Okay, so I've fast forwarded to the coffee process now. That frothing took almost exactly one minute. And just gonna, you know, let it uh, do the coffee extraction. And what I love about, uh, you know, the, the extraction process, it gives this, you know, very nice, uh, kind of almost like a mesmerizing cloud effect in the coffee as you as you look at it from the side you know that does got nothing to do with the exact taste of the coffee but it's just a nice visual effect uh, of the coffee and there we go it's finished and that took 90 seconds from the time i pressed that button it's just fantastic so convenient and uh, you know once it's done you just remove that and then the only part if you're going to use this as your mug, which you can, right? it's a large mug, but you can use that as a mug. The only part you need to rinse out is that makes it so easy to use. So guys, what I really love about this, what I think are the strengths of this machine, it's very simple. It's got a very user-friendly one-touch operation, right? These are kind of intuitive, right? You do, I did have to look it up once to find out what the buttons mean, but after that, you kind of remember just by you know the picture references on the buttons you know again very fast warm-up took about 15 seconds and the coffee is done in 90 seconds in terms of operation noise it's also extremely quiet Lavazza states that the max operating volume is 43 decibels which is softer than talking volume it's just fantastically uh, you know stealthy operation I really like it in the house where I have little kids uh, and it's also fuss free operations again if you use that as your mug, you really only have to rinse that out and then you have to wash that after you use it. And that's really all you have to wash on a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, now and then you might have to empty the, the used capsules in the bin there, but you know that is by no means any onerous operation, very easy to use. Uh, there is a wide range of Amoda Mio capsules, uh, varying strengths and flavors, and even some non-coffee choices. So, so take a look, I'll try to put some screenshots here. Uh, the kind of considerations I would say if you're considering buying this machine, uh, the differences between the flavors, I, I would think, in my experience, I've tried quite a few. They're not always very apparent, right? Sometimes they describe it as chocolatey or, uh, you know, velvety and all that. Doesn't always come out in, in just my palette that I've tried over the last, last, you know, three weeks I've had this machine. Um, and then I would say overall, of course, this isn't the same as a semi-automatic machine where you grind you know, fresh roasted beans and you kind of tamp it yourself and you froth your own milk. No, it doesn't quite compete with that. But, you know, it's so convenient and you're getting, you know, a coffee that is pretty darn good, right? Not cafe quality by any means. I'm not going to pretend that it is, but it's probably 80% of the way there, you know, for the convenience of this machine. All right, so let's just fix, flip the camera around for the wrap up. So guys, there we have it, my review of the Lavazza Deseo Automatic Coffee Machine. I hope you found that helpful for your decision making. Let me know uh, what you think in the comments below. Uh, to my usual subscribers, I've uh, put this off notification. So if you see this, uh, I'm sorry, uh, you know, this is not intended to be published to my uh, usual watch uh, channel subscribers. But if you do, you know, see, come across this, uh, I I'd like to know your thoughts, of course. Uh, guys, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.